I guess, yeah, that's, wow, he looks uncanny to Flint. <laughs> that's like he's the same person. Leonard's the only one looking away. Something too cool. Alright. So you guys are... The two guards that led you here remain outside the doors, but they open the doors for you and gesture for you to enter. Well, let's not keep the Lord waiting. Alright. Um, I'll uh, be on the left side, I guess. I don't know. I'm still in the back. Yeah. I'll bring well, up the rear and... As we're going through the castle, well, I just want to take note of how many guards we pass, any like escape routes, or just general like tactical knowledge. I'm kind of doing the same. Okay, go. Both of you make investigation checks at disadvantage because you're you're having to walk through this place, and you can't take the time to stop and actually like notice, other than just actually seeing that there is a thing. Right. 15. Oh, I'm going to use a lock. Shit. Worse. Nox, you're able to pick up on where you see, uh, as you move through, you'll notice a couple of staircases and different uh, placements of doors that, with what you've seen from the outside and now being on the inside, just spatially, it seems like there should be certain rooms placed in certain places, so you get somewhat of an idea of where you are. You're not lost the moment you enter this large mansion-like building. <laughs> All right, so your little group starts making their way through the building. The, uh, Foyer is uh, occupied by two other guards who are flanking the either side of the main entrance doors themselves. They give you a glare but allow you to pass as you continue to move through. There's a hall with large portraits that hang of various ancestors. There's a couple of landscapes in here. Um, just seems like a nice procession sort of hallway for hanging of art and the displaying of pretty things to show off one's wealth. There's a lot of uh, gold that has been worked into the wall work in these rooms. Very opulent uh, lighting fixtures along the walls. Uh, in the larger rooms, you see chandeliers hanging. Very, very nice accommodations here in this place. I'm growling. I kind of kind of give them, shoot them just a slight, <laughs> really fast... Easy there. Kind of I'm, look. I'm holding back my spit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving him a little reassuring leg pats. <laughs> it's okay, friend. I ruffle his hair. <laughs> <laughs> and you continue to move past more pairs of guards who are dotted, you know, every so often in this building. And they all just do about the same thing. They just give you a look like they, you know, would really prefer that you weren't here but are dealing with the situation at hand. And as you move further in, they continue to kind of point you in one direction or another until you find yourselves outside of a large door with a uh, gilded sort of uh, framework on the outside with a golden uh, scroll work type engraving in the letter B. And the door is open for you and you are allowed to enter a very large... Uh, study type room. There are bookshelves, a writing desk across the room from you, uh, more guards in this room, and as you enter, two more follow in behind you. Uh, there's a gentleman standing across the room near the writing desk who is tall for a human. He's, he's about six foot seven, but he is older in his years. He's about 60, he, or looks to be. His hair is mostly white with a little bit of gray still peppered in there. Uh, his clothing is very fine. He wears a sash across his chest to just give himself some sort of look of station or of power. And he is currently just hand on his chin, gently stroking his beard as you are being shown in by the guards. Uh, as we uh, step in... Uh... You know, give the guy a 
a short bow. Uh, my lord. Me lord. My lord. Yes. Give him a little bowson. We have something. We have uh, the man you've been looking for. And as you say that, one of the guards steps around you and just gets down on one knee and just prostrates himself and says, These men have brought who they say to be Flip along with them, sir. They are looking to claim the bounty on his head, my lord. And he steps back behind you. I like during that, I'm like Vanna Whiting again. Look at him. And you see Lord Blackwell's eyebrow just kind of raise and, and a peaked curiosity sort of look, and he just gives the uh, image of Flint to look up and down appraisingly and just says, How are we to know that this man is truly who you say? Remove his mask, if you would. I kind of, I reach over, I grab the uh, mask, um, and I pull it away. Huh? Oh. As you can see, your depictions aren't really accurate. I don't know if he has allied himself with the populace, but... After some very intense uh, negotiations with the uh, huh? populace, we were able to figure out this is indeed Flint. Go ahead and make a deception check. He gives you a, a look of, and his eyebrow raises again, but this time it's less of he's genuinely curious and more of, oh, is that so? And he smiles very weakly and just says, interesting tale that you tell. The populace helped you find this ruffian among their populace and just were kind enough to help you turn him over without wanting the reward themselves. None of these people in town have the capabilities to capture this man like we do. Mm -hmm. You see, he stole some coinage from me when we first got to town. And uh, using our uh, all of our collective uh, skills, we were able to track him down. All signs pointed to this man. You know how folklore gets where, you know... Sometimes things get exaggerated, and uh, you know. Bracho, go ahead and make a deception check too. Oh, come on, man. I'm using the. Uh... Yeah, dude, you do it. Do I even? Yeah, you are. You are absolutely talking from now on. <laughs> Yes, I, I heard there was trouble with some thievery of a certain group recently. I didn't think much of it. They told me the problem was taken care of, but it's good to hear that you were... Funds will return to you. Yes, it was quite distressing. <clears throat> now, for the business at hand. And he snaps his fingers as two of the guards in the room move and take flint from your uh, from your grasp and they pull him off to the side of the room you've brought me a man that I've been looking for for quite some time if you see a reward in your future I think we can arrange that and he moves over behind the desk Might uh... he just opens up a drawer and starts looking through? 
Uh, might we also, my lord, uh, humbly request um, a bit of information as well? Go on, I'm listening. Um, well, we are, uh... Swift Guard. Lord. Swift, Swift Guard, uh, members of the guild, and, uh, we were hoping to speak with Lashan. Is he available? No, I'm afraid Lashan is quite busy, as of yet. A meeting with him would not be quite possible at this time. Hmm, that is unfortunate. There is some uh, serious dealings that we need to speak him with, speak with him on, and um, we're quite hoping that we could uh, speak to him. Uh, but if he's unavailable, we'll certainly speak with Graven on our way back, and perhaps he will have word with him if possible. They are good friends. Graven, Graven wanted to. Send a nice little hello to his buddy. Hmm. Yes, as you say. Like, he's, like, he says it like he's just half listening as he is continuing to search through the drawer. And just after he says that, he finishes his search within the drawer. The movement of him searching around stops. He grabs something, stands up and closes the drawer. And moving over towards the guards, he says... Well, it's quite good to hear that there are such good-meaning people in the town willing to go to such efforts to see that justice is done and rights are wronged, or wrongs are righted. Well, I'm afraid you won't get all the answers you're looking for tonight. And he takes what he has behind his back and you see that it's a dagger in his hand, which he drives into the stomach of the person that you had dressed up as Flint. The guy just <laughs> doubles over and coughs up a bit of blood. All right, I throw a whole person on him. <clears throat> I, I, on the Baron, or uh, Lord Blackwell. Yeah, I grab my rope and I say, I am the knight, and send it to tie up oh the God. guy behind me. I cast Mage Armor. I throw a whole person on one of the guards, too. Okay, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> And I think I want to lay on hands the barbarian guy. If, uh, well, you're not. A, no, we, what was I say? We can't do all. That. You're on the other side of the room. What's too. your spell DC? TK. Fourteen. Uh, it's going to be a wisdom saving throw. Okay, so he passes that. And that's really all the time. Since he's the first person to say something, I'm going to say that's really the all all the reaction that you guys are going to be able to get before we go into initiative proper. Okay. Wait. That burns it around for me. Damn. Go without my armor class. All right, I have a uh, twelve for initiative. Fuck. Ooh, I got a seventeen. I got a five. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> right, we're probably gonna be in trouble here. Oh yeah, <laughs> be lots of trouble. Does anybody know how to like lock doors or anything? You're closest you to the it. door. I don't. I don't lock. I'm good with arcane lock. lock. I can lock. Well, Things how long does arcane lock take? Oh, look. Just because the, the that, less, might actually, that might actually not be a bad idea. The less bros that come in here, the better. <laughs> I'm just gonna remember. I have two lock points left instead of having a display. <clears throat> uh, one act. Oh, yeah. You can touch. Oh, I can have, well, I would like to see what Crone's up to, see who's backing us, if we got anybody in position in position coming down. Oh, yeah, that that's probably a good idea, because Arcane Lock is just an action, but you can designate it that only uh, the people that you want can open the door. Should I do that? How many yeah. doors do we have in here? We got one, 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 and then the staircase going down. Well, I mean, we, we don't know if this is accurate for what we can, what's actually in the room. Should I try so it? Well, I'm going to turn to ask Wilson. Well, we'll yeah, just, door. just ask him on it. We'll ask him if, you know, you could, like, look around to see which, I, I'd say probably the door we came in was the I mean, it goes, guard, Wainred, guard, me. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
so it be there. And then you. In retrospect, I probably should have just let him. I wanted to cast haste on one of you guys too. No, in all honesty, all right. I probably should have just let him fucking stab. So it just sounds like you maybe had a question. It's too late for that. I know. <laughs> Um, I guess, is the layout of the map we see accurate to the layout of the castle or the keep or whatever? No, the room that we're in right now. Or the room it. that we're in? Yes. yes. Okay. From what we can see right now, we only can see two doors. The one we came in, yeah. the one over there. Good. Cool. Um, you're up. Or, nope. Not yet. Guards up first. Oh, and then him. Oh my god. He yeah. had him. There's two people before me. What do you want me to do? Everybody but one person is before me. <laughs> that guy, or should I just attack him? Wait, how many people were on that initiative? God damn. Quite a few. It's well, at least four guards. guards. Yeah. And Ten five. total counting us. Without us, five. And Berserker. Berserker Six. dude gets a chance, I think. Uh, He's just before. If the stab wasn't too bad. Just give me one more second. Okay, okay. I'm sure he's now in a blood-filled rage. <laughs> yeah, could be. All right. So as you cast Hold Person on him, you see him kind of, the spell starts to take effect, but he closes his eyes for a moment and seems to shrug off the effect of your spell as he removes his hand from the dagger that he just stabbed into the gut of the Berserker. And right afterwards, he gives a quick look and nod to one of the guards who starts to move in. Hmm. Shoot. Oh, boy. <clears throat> And he draws a short sword from his side and just yells, Attack! Attack in the keep! And swings out, missing you in the moment, trying to rally for more help. And that's all that he can do in that quick moment there. And after giving the nod to one of his uh, subordinates, you see... Lord Blackwell, turn and just run down a set of stairs. I fucking knew it. Um, is he like gone now? Well, he's out of our sight. Yeah, he he's he's left your sight and gone down a flight of stairs. You no longer can see him. Um, if he's within fifty feet, I could try to. I don't. Know, can can I tie people up with a rope that I can't see? On not a not. Well, I mean, he's not in no. visible range. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, I guess I'll just attack the guy next to me. And drawing your weapon is an action, right? No. It's not. No. Okay. Then I draw no. my long sword and take a two-handed swing at him. Nope. We need to give chase after him right away. And as a bonus action, Anybody I want to cast Shield of Faith on the Barbarian. I can cast Haste and somebody can do a dash. Okay. Right where he is. Um, I mean, I come up after you, I think. So. And that's my turn. You don't want me to lock then? Hmm? You want me to lock? That's the thing. You can't cast Haste and lock. I know. I could probably tank them swinging at me. You wanna run? Well, I can run, you can arcane lock. I think that's probably best. Cover our, cover our backs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, do you, do you think we should handle these guys first? Because that guy's gonna probably motor. Yeah. I would say maybe a couple of us hang back. I don't know. With the mm -hmm. berserker guy? Well, he... So then you see one of the other guards in the room takes up the call. Attack! There's attack in the castle! And runs over to join in the fight against you, Wainred. Oh. Yeah, it'd be fine if you fucked off, 
Because there's still four of us counting Berserk Mail. Well, right, I know, I'm just saying, like, I... And again, in the in the moment of trying to to rally support in the immediate area, he can't seem to hit you with his strike. Good. Good. <laughs> and then we're on to Nox. Um, I'm gonna run to the door that we came in, and I'm gonna cast Arcane Lock on it, and I'm gonna. I would say just fucking straight up lock that. I'm gonna lock. I'm gonna lock the door. And only. Our party. Our party, I guess, can open it. Yeah, I designate whoever opens it, and it's just our party. Okay, so it just effectively locks the door, right? With an arcane. Uh, yeah. Spell. Yeah, it's yeah. an arcane lock. It's essentially. What it is, I think. I select a password, I guess, or something. Well, you can. I think you can choose to do that. I think you could. I think just you know locking it so like it, it's locked for pe other people. It but... is impassable until it's broken or the spell is disabled or suppressed. Right. Okay. okay. That's a good idea. And is there anything else you'd like to do with your turn? Um, use my movement to move uh, away. Okay, you will get an attack of opportunity from uh, both of the guards. Is that right? Okay, yeah, yeah, I guess. Within melee uh, range. But I wasn't in melee with them. Does that matter? You'll you'll just get uh, an attack from one of them. Yeah. Alright guys, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do anything if I'm close to them, so I had to leave. Yeah. Hopefully they miss. They seem pretty rattled. Maybe. What's your AC currently, Knox? 12. <laughs> okay, so that does just barely hit you. So as you're running away, he, frustrated by missing his initial strike, sees you as another possible target and sweeps, sweeps out against you and he will do... I can, I can heal him as a bonus action and then dash as my action so that way you don't have to use yours. Two slashing damage. Big damage from this guy. <laughs> All right, Heskar, you're up. All right. Um, I'm going to, as a bonus action, cast Healing Word. Uh, I didn't well, mean to do that. How much damage did you take? Two? Two. Two. What's your total HP at? Uh, hold on. I mean, I can just top you off. Might as well. 18? Yeah, I'll do it. All right, I'm going to cast Healing Word as a bonus action on uh, Nox. So he's, he's, he's back to full. And then I'm going to... Um, take a dash action to try and da uh, run after the guy down the stairs. Do I still have your... Yeah, you still have thing? that bonus, yeah. So I guess, you know, however far down the stairs, or to the stairs, I guess drawing whatever attacks of opportunity come my way, and then down the stairs after him. Okay, so you would get two attacks of opportunity, one from each guard that you would run past. Right. Big scary dragonborn's the best to send after that. Uh, 17 and a 19. 17 doesn't hit, the 19 <laughs> does. I'm sorry? 17 doesn't hit, but the 19 does. Okie dokie. Has bane on these guys to make uh, make it harder for them to hit us. So you run out away from the range of the first one, and he reaches out to try and grab you to stop you from moving, but isn't able to get his you in his grasp in just that second. And as you get out of there, he yells to the other one that you're just passing. He says, "Quick, grab him!" And the other guy turns with his sword, intending to try and hit you to stop your motion. But you are able to move past him, but he does manage to get you for a clean five slashing damage. Okay. So it looks like it was about, uh, from where I'm at, uh, 15, 15 feet to where that guy is. And it would be a total of 60 feet. So I guess 45 feet down the stairs or however far that gets me. Okay, just measure out to the stairs and then tell me what that is. 
uh, from here to there, about 15 feet, I think, top of the stairs. Is that where you want it? And then to the bottom of the stairs from there. Another 20. All right. So that'll be 35 feet. So just put yourself at the bottom of those stairs quick. Okay. Can do. Then I'm taking you for a ride. Very smooth. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, here he is. <laughs> it's, it's milk. It's so smooth. Right. So you run to the bottom of the stairs, down into a darkened uh, floor beneath you, and just at the bottom of these stairs, do you have dark vision? I do not. Okay. You're able to see just a little bit with the light coming in from above you, but past that, it gets to be just pitch black, and the only thing that you can see in front of you, to your left, against a wall, just past the doorway at the bottom of these stairs, is what seems to be a casket or a tomb of some sort. Okay. What is that? All right. Uh, yeah, that'll be it for my turn then. Okay. okay. Shit's gonna get spicy. Another one of the guards sees the opportunity with the uh, with the one of his compadres that he has in battle with you, Wainwright, and he's going to come in and try and get some of that sweet paladin meat. No, no, no! Oh, kick ass! Fuck yeah, dude! I'm coming, Hesgar. <laughs> A sixteen and an eighteen. The eighteen hits, but the sixteen doesn't. Ow. Okay. So that's six slashing damage to you as he strikes out with the first one and you're able to just deflect it with one of your the sides of your gauntlets. But then he takes advantage of that opening and is able to slash you just across the front of your shoulder down to the, like, just the very bottom lip of your armpit. I want to look at him after he strikes me and I just want to mutter, I've had worse. Okay. okay. Now, the barbarian across the room, who had the the dagger driven into him by Lord Blackwell, you watch as he grabs the dagger with one hand, pulls it out of his abdomen and throws it to the ground, and with the other hand, the hand that has the rune on the palm, he holds it out in front of him into the open air, and uh, everybody who's in that room, go ahead and make a perception check. Perception, Heskar. Perception? She's, no, not, in, she's not, not in the room. room. There's gotta be people in the room. Yep. What? Okay, do I have to do one? No. no. Oh, gotcha. Okay, cool. Question, am I at a advantage? advantage? No. no. <laughs> but you are the only one to pick up on this, is you see his mouth moving, so you just kind of hone in for a second to pick up on what he's saying in the middle of a battle, and you hear him very softly under his voice just say, Rosanna. <laughs> and this silvery battle axe appears out of thin air in his hand. The end of it is r sort of reddish, pinkish in hue. And he just holds it in two hands as his eyes light up. And he just laughs heartily to himself. <laughs> and he just swings with both hands at the guard in front of him. Dang, yo. Get you all the way. Da -da -da. Rosanna, yeah. Meet you all the way. I don't know this song. Toto. Toto. Rosanna, my Toto. Rosanna, my Toto. Rosanna, my Toto. Haven't heard that Toto song. Now she's gone. And I have to say. Bam! Bam! Wow. Inspiration. <laughs> yeah, where was that before, <laughs> huh? Oh, I haven't had a turn yet. Yeah, no, I meant like at the gate, man. I would have gotten like 
max roll on everything. Oh. <laughs> You've been so inspired. Mm-hmm. Bam! In it. <laughs> bam! The you're like whispering in the guy's ear, and then like as you get to the end, he, you just like see him, and you're like, bam! <laughs> That's actually what intimidated him. <laughs>